Welcome to the Minecraft Dev Sync. October 13th, whatever day that is, Wednesday. Um, Derek, kick it off. All right. Um, so I've been continuing my progress through this back on the skills uh, mockups. Um, and uh, actually, I was doing a little bit of planning for next week. And so I, I shot off an email maybe 30 minutes, an hour ago about two big topics pertaining to our next big upcoming sprints. And um, I think while we're, while we're all together, it would be really great to spend ideally like a day on each of those topics. So the skills interaction and then the music sprint. And the, the benefit I think on the music uh, sprint is we can actually uh, take advantage of, of the business team and legal team while they're there because there's a huge legal component of it um, to uh, to have them take a look at all that legalese and see if we can make sure we're staying on the right side of things. So that's what Chris alluded to in uh, in the team meeting was was those kind of um, sessions, those two sessions. So I imagine that we are still going to have a lot of unresolved issues on the um, skills interaction side of things at that point. So it'll just be good to, to, to be talking, talking face to face about that stuff. So yeah, I guess we'll, oh, I guess I'm, none of this is concrete by the way, so we don't have that, but I'll do my, my best to make those times that you would be able to attend. Is your fun for all activity making Mark twos? <laughs> that that is also something we should do. Uh, <laughs> is get some done. We'll like have sit there and like help them along and give them all screwdrivers. And <laughs> they'll ha we'll have ten of the dev kits, the laser cut dev kits there, um, and then there'll be six. I'm, I'm trying to get six of the three D printed prototypes completed while I'm there too. So I would love to have a three D printed prototype. Yeah, I don't so have one yet. That's also another goal. So yeah, I don't know. That's that's definitely something I'm planning on doing like in my own free time in the evenings and stuff, but that would be a good activity to, you know, get the whole team together and, and do a little bit of as well. So we'll buy the but yeah, just just to be clear, you know, things aren't things aren't necessarily um there there isn't really I talked to Chris, there isn't really any hard schedule yet. So if anyone else has ideas. You know, throw my way, and I'll try my best to get them in the mix. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, on the schools interaction front, I uh, I did that blog post. Um, I don't oh, know if yeah. you saw it, but uh, the idea is, you know, that it introduces the whole feedback process that we want to go through. Um, to the broader community um and then we'll release out you know videos on a on a regular basis to get feedback on on the interactions that are shown in those um so yeah maybe have a look at that if you haven't um uh other than that i did a bit more work on the wiki skill um still a little way to go there uh um and was mostly merging, uh, working on community PRs and, and feedback and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it feels like we, feels like I haven't talked to you guys in a couple of days. Um, it seems like we're, we're actually getting through the GUI sprint relatively quickly. Um, well, we've only got a few things left, so I'm going to do the GUI for the Wikipedia skill. Um, and then I'm hoping that we can just reuse the, the basically the exact same thing for DuckDuckGo and Wolfram Alpha, um, at least to start with, and then we can sort of tweak it and um, customize it from there if we if if there's a need. Um, but it might be good enough for for this pass of the skills for for us to just have the same thing on all of them. Um, and. Chris V, since we're talking GUIs, do you want to talk, take it from there? Yeah, I just finished the uh, pairing skill. Um, 
So I'm going to commit that today. And I'll, I'll, I'll give it to all of you, but if you're already paired, then it may not matter, but you can certainly remove your identity file and repair to see, see the difference. Um, I did have to remove pagination from it for the same reason I had to remove pagination from the weather skill. It was crashing um, the plasma shell. So um, it's one page at a time. I mean, I mean, well, it's always one page at a time, but you don't see the little dots at the bottom anymore. Um, and tomorrow, I'm guessing I will move on to the uh, Wi-Fi setup skill, which is very similar to, to the pairing skill in that it already has a GUI. It just needs to be tweaked to use the new um, guidelines we use for GUI design. So. Um, the plasma shell crashing is a concern. <laughs> Um, we should. I well, remember we talked about this with when I did the weather skill. I removed all pagination and I removed all animation from that skill for the same reason. I was crashing the GUI all the time. So um, I almost forgotten about it until I started using this skill. And, um, and yeah, it was crashing pretty regularly. Do we have a version of the skill that um, we can point like Blue Systems to, to to say, you know, check this out and see if they can. Yeah, you can, they can just use my version. All you got to do is get is, is comment out the, uh, the self.gui.clear that I put in there. It basically clears it before I show every screen. Comment that out, and it'll work, it'll work as it used to. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Ken. Um, I'm working on the alarm skill JIRA tickets. Uh, so there's different versions of the alarm skill that I've got there. So I'm fixing that. I dug up the old version and comparing Vogue files. So that'll be done tomorrow, I think. And, uh, and that's it. I just had a question in general about blog posts. Like I'm doing a lot of stuff outside of work. Like I'm getting uh, Micro up running on a Jetson Nano and I, you know, building the TTS, uh, getting it running on a GPU device and stuff. Is there a place where we post that kind of stuff? Some of this stuff would probably be helpful for the uh, community if they're trying to run on different devices or getting GPUs working in different environments for uh, different packages. Is, is there a place we post, we do blog posts, or how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. On mycroft.ai slash blog. So if there's, if there's a, you know, something that you think would be interesting, then um, that'd be awesome to, to write it up as a blog post and um share it out i guess I, I write it up and then i send it to you right and then you'll like proof it and then put it out there yeah yeah um if it's like if it's just like a little thing that you know you don't want to spend the time writing it into an actual full-on blog post then i'd still um you know post it in the forums for example um uh but no, yeah. i just think you know like instructions for how to get you know mycroft running on a jetson nano with the gpu working yeah that'd be awesome yeah really cool and then there's like, you know, well, you got to build PyTorch from scratch and that takes like 16 hours. And so here's all the little crap you got to do to get it. No, it literally doesn't. I, mean, I start yeah. these things on at night and they're done in the next day. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just figured some of these experiences might be helpful for other members of the community. Yeah, yeah. How's it go on the Nano? It, uh, so far, so good. Um, the uh, TTS, uh, no go because of incompatibilities. The... Um, PyTorch has to be built from source for the Nano because of its GPU and special configuration, even though it's an NVIDIA. Uh, so, you know, they don't really have any wheels for 3.7. And then when you go to run that TTS Coqui engine, the, the, the latest one, that requires like PyTorch and Numba and, and a bunch of stuff I didn't know about before last week. And uh, which is cool stuff, by the way, the CUDA compilers, they convert Python code to CUDA code, CUDA kernel code. But, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just uh, that's that's got incompatibility. So I have to build these like massive, you know, like optimization libraries for CUDA on the target device because cross compiling doesn't work because the makes pick up the CUDA environment from the environment they're compiling in. So you know, these guys, you know, it's like a Raspberry Pi. In fact, uh, Michael, I don't, I don't know if you know, but I I bought a, a Nano last week, 
And uh, the pinout on the, it's a $49 device. It's basically the Raspberry Pi to the point where the uh, pin edge connector is 100% compatible. In other words, our hat should run on the nano. Yeah, I, uh, I remember that uh, we actually talked about this last year in Hawaii. Uh, that guy uh, keyed us into the fact that there's a bunch of, like a one-time supply of uh, Jetsons out there that were leftovers from uh, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so they didn't make the Yeah, these the uh, are the two gigs. These just came out this year. Uh, the Nanos used to be 100 bucks, and they were four gig. This is a uh, $49 two gig. And I ordered it literally. This was weird. Freaking Amazon. They're just, uh, even though I was there, it's still magic. Um, I ordered it at 10 o'clock at night and I paid an extra 10 bucks for um, expedited shipping. And it sent me an email and said, Your device will be there between 4 and 8 a.m. and in a row at 6 a.m. <laughs> Which is between four and eight. <laughs> yep. But um, yeah, the Nano is cool uh, if you can get inventory on them because uh, it probably will run our hat. And it has a GPU. Yeah, cool. Um, speaking of... Uh things <laughs> it just <laughs> reminded me that the uh the the tf light plugin i've been testing that a little bit more and um uh it is it works um but it's it's getting that um pulse audio it's triggering that pulse audio failure um and so that's what's causing the um for it to to just you know stop working at, at different points in time um and so uh, it is definitely definitely the plugin. If I switch, if I change the configuration to not use the plugin, then no issues for multiple days, and then um, switch back to the plugin, and and after some number of hours, um, eventually it, it triggers that um, that failure. So has our port audio patch discontinued, becoming part of our build? Uh, no, nothing changed there. So um, well, then it shouldn't be happening. That's what the whole patch for Port Audio was all about. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean... We patched Port Audio to specifically not generate that exception. To gobble it up and just, you know, reset the buffer pointer. Well, maybe and it's a different... Now it's back. Maybe it's a different... It's been back for a while. Era. I mentioned it in the dev, in the dev uh, team chat months ago that... I saw these coming, you know, up with the latest build, and this is very concerning considering the fact that these are, this has already been fixed. So it looks like the build has regressed somehow. Uh, unless it's a different era, potentially, but potentially. Uh, I, have you been using it at all? Or? Have I been using the TensorFlow Light plugin? Yeah, yeah. I had it um, running on my. Uh, Mark II before I, I put the new build on, which was like Saturday or Sunday, but it was, as I told you, it was locking up with Precise anyway. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, back, so we need to... I don't know, it came back like, like about a month ago. If you go back far enough in the dev chat, you'll see I pointed it out. I says, you know, this is, this is an old friend that shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, we, we need to dig into that then. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I retained the email where I emailed the file to somebody. So I have the file in its entirety. It's made all these months. A year now, I guess. Okay. So um, that down. We should clarify that they're building the... You know, they may have said, hey, you know what? Uh, the fix was upstream and we hit the upstream and we decided to stop patching, but no, that upstream still, was not I'm, I'm pretty sure we, I have to double check the build recipe, but I'm pretty sure we have, um, a dev package, like, just, uh, included in the build recipe, the, the patch well, if dev they can package. verify that, if, if they can verify that, um, and send me back the source file so I can do a diff on them. 
uh, worst case if necessary, I'll dig into it. So, what do you want? Do you want the source, the actual dev package that we're... Not the dev package, the uh, the source to the file that changed. I think there was two or three .c files that changed. I mean, there was a .h, I think, and two .c's. It's okay. been almost a year, but I, I can dig it all up. It was... I remember I'll, I'll send you a link to the to the where it's where it's pulling it in. Um, cool. Is that that was everyone? We need to chase that down because that's a showstopper. I mean, that basically will lock up the system. Yeah, yeah. You have to restart the voice service. Or yeah. All right, Michael. Anything from you? Um, no, uh, I, I appreciate the feedback I've been getting on the, uh, um, the interactions document, um, and definitely looking forward to talking about that. I, uh, I think that would be a good, good thing to discuss in Hawaii. Um, but, uh, no, I wanted to also talk about the, uh, the hiring process and how that's going. It's probably not appropriate to talk about on the recorded part of the call. Um, but, uh, do want to uh, start picking that up. Uh, well, if you want to talk about that now, we can say farewell to everyone else. Bye.